The atom, so small it's hard to imagine. 72 quintillion of them fit into a single grain of sand. Finding out what an atom was made of led to our next great discovery. To get the story, I went to Fermilab outside Chicago and met with physicist John Wormersley. Even a hundred years ago, people knew how big the atom was, and they thought that electrons and protons would be spread pretty much uniformly uh, throughout the atom. And they called this the plum pudding model because they thought of the electrons like raisins in a fruitcake spread throughout the inside of the fruitcake. In the early 1900s, physicist Ernest Rutherford conducted an experiment to further explore the structure of the atom. He shot radioactive alpha particles at a sheet of gold foil. And he wanted to see what would happen when the alpha particles hit the gold. He didn't expect very much would happen. He thought most of the alpha particles would carry straight on through without being deflected, without being bent through any large angle. But what happened? Well, he found something completely different. He said it was as surprising as if you shot a 15-inch artillery shell at a piece of tissue paper and had the artillery shell bounce back at you. Some of these alpha particles bounce straight back off the gold foil. So the only way this could happen is if inside the atom is a very small, dense concentration of matter. It's not spread out like the plum pudding. And Rutherford called this small, dense concentration the nucleus.